powering on the controller by means of the power button after a few moments the touch screen will illuminate giving the information of the system, the serial number the number of queues fired, the firmware that's been operated the login screen of the PyroSure system has the box for the login code which has to be entered it can be up to 8 digits long the original login code is 8 times the number 1 currently this system the login code is 5015 enter system information in the section of the, the firmware you will have the serial number the number of queues fired the firmware the method of fire whether it's automatic instant fire or timed fire key sounds on or off and the modules which are currently available within the network including serial numbers and an update option for firmware in the unlikely event that you do forget or lose your login code we can supply a new override code to supply this code you'll require to provide us with the serial number of the controller and the queues fired to add a module to the controller select the add module screen you will be prompted, prompted to add a module OK or cancel OK press the plus key on the module or modules to be added to the network the module address number will disappear and after a few moments it will reappear when the number appears you can cancel this process add the module has been completed the system and the modules need to be restarted so power off the module and switch off the controller and restart The main menu of the Pyroshoot controller consists of six separate parts manual firing, semi automatic firing, project firing, disarm modules, system information, and settings. Settings In settings, you have the options to add new modules to the network, set the time, switch on or off key sounds. Set the total modules required in a network, change the login code, time sync different controllers together for synchronized firing, set time fire so that the system will fire at a preordained time such as midnight and the language option for several languages. If at any time the arm key is in the on position, it must be turned off. The system will only allow you to arm modules at the appropriate stage of any display setup. Turn arm key off. Release the emergency stop button. If the emergency stop button is depressed at any time, a warning will appear. Release stop button. To release, turn the key in a clockwise motion. This will release the system to be operated in a normal fashion. Setting time. If you need to change the time at any time, touch the screen and using the keypad enter the current time. It is now 16, 25 and 22 seconds. Key sounds can be on or off. Key sound is off so when you touch the screen there is no beep. This is ideal for indoor situations such as theatres. Set the key sound back on, activate the touch key.